Well, this is a video to show how you can build on from the uh, three um, basic chords that you should learn as a beginner guitarist, the, uh, the D, uh, the C at 9, and the G. Okay, um, you can easily go from those to a, an E minor, um, an E, an A, an A minor, um, and a D minor, a B7, and a B11. Um, you've got to have um, fingers you know, wide enough to be able to fret two strings at once, so that's the only thing. Okay, so let's start with the, um, I mean, let's go back to what we were doing here. So we've got the C add 9, uh, the G, and the D. Now if we want to do an E minor 7, we'll just leave the, um, the pinky and the ring finger on strings 1 and 2, and we'll just bring our pointer finger down to fret uh, 4 and 5 on the second, and that'll give us an um, E minor 7. So you can just use that for your um, basic chords, it's easy to incorporate in there. Okay, so let's go to a you know proper sounding E minor. I just use uh, one finger, so I use my middle finger on four and five. Just play the six strings. Okay, that's E minor. To do an E chord, I'll keep my middle finger there, but my pointer finger will come down between these two strings here. Um, let's just call them tracks. So one finger goes on that track, the other finger goes on that track. So that'll look like this. It's really fast and easy to get to. You know, instead of doing it the regular way, um, like that. Um, we'll do it this way because we've got our wider fingers to do it and we just get there really quickly. Okay, there's E minor. Uh, let's go to A. A, we just basically bend the finger down. Um, you mute out this um, low E, you play the, um, the A string open, um, you fret the fourth, third and the second and you've got to play the, um, uh, the first string open. So that sounds like this. Now to go to the E, you just basically bend up like that. So we're going E minor, A, E. Okay, so that transaction, uh, transaction, that transition um, is really easy. Um, the A minor is a similar thing. Um, basically, we'll put our finger on uh, one finger on that track, and the other one on that track. When you do this, you're actually fretting there, there, um, there, and there, but. Uh, that one gets fretted up here so it doesn't sound, but it's just an easy place to land the fingers. So with the A minor you've got to mute out this um, uh, low E, play that open, um, you're fretting like I said with the fingers there and you've got to make sure this um, first string, the high E, plays out. So there's your A minor, E, A, E minor. All just really um, small movements. Now you can get to a B7, um, you know, quite easily just by bringing your fingers up like that. Um, now you're supposed to fret this first string here as well, but I have trouble doing it, so instead of fretting that I actually mute it out with my palm. Um, so that'll sound like this. So there's your B7. It's E. It's A. So once again, um, that's a really easy um, transition there, um, and it's quite a common chord progression to go from E to A to B. So you know, in a lot of songs, you can use a B7. Um, if you want to do a B11, um, it's the same sort of setup as the B7, but instead of muting that um, first string, you just bring your palm out. So you play the first and second strings open. So there you have it. So that's a B11. Mute it. B7. Okay, so you know one of those two chords might be able to get you through um, somewhere. All right, so um, you need a way to be able to get back to the um, you know the D, C add nine, and G. So when you're doing these sort of shapes here, like that type of thing, your ring finger is actually floating, um, pretty much just ready to come back and form the D. Okay, so you land back on the D, so you can go from your A minor. Minor. A. And then once you're back in this position here, you can easily go to your C add 9 and your G. Um, and now coming the other way, so you want to get from the A minor to the to the C add 9. A. C add 9. E minor. C add 9. Okay. So that's, that's easy as well. Same with the G. Um, I actually, when I do my G, I land it as a G5, and then 
which is basically is it's almost a full G, but you're muting out the fifth string. It's just easier for me to land that first and then bring my pointer down um, to you know, create the full G. I mean, if you want to um, land both fingers at once, you know, um, you know, that's the way to do it if you can. Just my fingers are a bit short, so it's just easier for me um, to land that um, middle finger first and bring the pointer down. So here we go, so A minor. G, E minor. G, A, G. Okay, so those are really easy um, movements here. Um, now the, the D minor, the D minor, you traditionally do it where you fret there, there, and there, um, which, you know, I can sort of do. It's actually easier for me to come down to the 7th fret on the 3rd string, so just use your ring finger just to sort of, as a, as a guide sort of thing, you know, or just run it, run it up the string to the 7th. Place your other two fingers down, so it looks like that. Um, now if you play from the, um, either the 4th or the 5th string down, it'll sound pretty good, so let's try that. Okay, so if you do the bar chord version of the, uh, the D minor, it sounds like this. The way I was showing it sounds like this. So they're very close anyway, so it just for me it's easier to just run up to the to the seventh. Okay, it's just an easier way for me to do it. I mean you might want to stay down here and do the regular D minor, um, which is all good. Um, yeah, so you know um, when you form uh, E chords and A minor chords, you know, traditionally you've got to do it like that, um, which is good because uh, later on when you get into doing the bar chords, you're going to need those shapes um, to form bar chords. You know, same with the, the A minor, you'll use your A, you come up to a C minor there, B minor. Okay, but you know, that's bar chords later on. If you just want to play around with some open chords for now and you've got the wider fingers to do it, this might be the way to go. You know, it just um, makes it a bit easier. It's better than um, getting frustrated and um, like giving up, you know, selling your guitar. So um, yeah, so maybe start off with these and then work your way into the regular shapes to be able to form bar chords later on. All right. Okay. So hopefully that'll give you something to think about and it helps. Okay. Thanks for watching.